though, I am so excited to unbox my brand new Pegas Girl Soft with you guys today. Um, honestly, I thought I was going to go with my Porter Cable all the way. But, by luck of fate, I now have the upgrade that I was not expecting, but I'm excited to share it with you guys and see what we have. And then I, I'm going to compare it to my Porter Cable. We will see if it's worth all that extra money. My girls are going to be playing with this box tomorrow. Okay, this thing weighs 90 pounds. Here she is! <laughs> She is beautiful, but she is also very heavy, and I didn't realize at first it's actually bolted down to this piece of plywood, which is why I was not able to pull it out of the box. So I got it out of the box. I have not moved it to the workshop because I am waiting on the stand to arrive in the mail. It has not been shipped yet. So I just have it on the kitchen table, and I wanted to show you. It comes with the Pegasus scroll saw blades. It's got the modified geometry blades, and it also has a super skip blade in a variety of sizes. I have not tried super skip blades, so I will have to give those a try. Um, I went ahead and took the safety off. I mean, it's nice to have sometimes. I just took it off because I typically don't mess with it. Um, it's got your instruction manual. It's got a scroll saw blade chart, which would be really nice for a reference. And it also has spare parts for new heads, which is great. I'm gonna keep those in a safe place. And the features that I am most excited about on this, especially compared to my Porter cable. One is the check head, the tension here. It looks super easy. I have to adjust the tension on my Porter cable every single time that I cut. This one, you look like you just put it in and set it. It looks like it's already on the right tension. The tension, you can't adjust it here. I haven't messed with it yet because I feel like it already feels like it's perfect, so I don't want to mess with a good thing. It does have an air compressor, which I've heard is pretty good. The speed control is here on the top. Clearance is 21 inches as opposed to mine. I think it's 16, maybe 18, and that does make a difference. The bevel, I also noticed is different, so it bevels, instead of moving this whole um, stand, it just bevels the arm. And speaking of the arm, Sorry, we've got Bluey going in the background here, and it's pretty noise. I'm also a mom, so. All right, this arm lifts up and down. Um, that's awesome, because I can't tell you how many times I've struggled trying to get my blade into a pilot hole and then getting it under uh, my quarter cable. So I'm really excited about the arm, and I'm ready to plug it in and see how it sounds. So, got that set. I've already got it plugged in. This is on and off button here. That's amazing. All right, that is so quiet. It is barely like moving, I feel like. My other one would bounce off the table with vibration, so this is awesome. Here's my speed control. I know they have a foot pedal. I've never used one before, um, possibly in the future, but for now I can just adjust that. That's fantastic. So yeah, here she is out of the box. I am really excited to see how she cuts and to get this downstairs soon, so. I will keep you updated. All right, I got my saw down to the workshop. I am still waiting on my stand, so I've just placed it on my workbench, and it just barely fits, um, but it's gonna be fine for now. I didn't bolt it in, because based on how it was on my table upstairs, it seems pretty steady without vibration, so I think it's gonna do just fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a test run. I'm working on just a new project. I'm gonna try to just cut out some pieces of something MDF and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so nothing fancy. I just cut out some basic pieces for a piece I'm working on. Um, I switched saws halfway through. I needed a smaller one, and I will say my favorite part about using this so far was that I never lost tension. It was incredibly easy just to stick it in there, set it, it never got loose. Um, I didn't have any trouble with a blade slipping. That is a huge deal for me. That was my biggest problem with my Porter Cable over here, though I have gotten so much use out of her. That was the biggest difference for me. The clearance was also nice, and if I didn't have the 21 inches, I would have had to cut halfway, back up, start from the other side. So that saved me a lot of time. The only thing I can think of that is missing from this Pegasus versus my Porter Cable is the little light that was on this saw. Um, this, Porter cable has a little light and that was always nice to me. It's not plugged in right now. You know, better shop lighting can fix that. So yes, the tension, that head was amazing. The clearance, wow, like very little vibration. Um, I turned up the speed, used the top speed. It was fantastic. I am so excited, you guys. I really think this will make me more efficient. I'll be able to cut probably just 
way faster just because of the time with messing with the blades and the tensions. Um, and it's just a smooth ride. It's less bouncy. It's just easier. It can be done on a Porter cable or a cheaper saw. It can be, and I stick by that. So if you still don't want to make that huge investment and you're not sure you want to scroll all the time or you don't want to do it full time, it's not a necessary, but if you love scrolling, it's amazing. And I love it so far. I can't wait to keep using it and show you guys what I do with it. So thanks for watching.